What's up guys, it's Chad Lance. It is Saturday, which means I'm going to be providing you the weekly map rundown for Trials of Osiris in the game Destiny. This week's map is actually a rotating session of Anomaly, Asylum, and Burning Shrine. I've already done the map rundowns for Asylum and Burning Shrine, so if you want to be able to check those out, you can click here for Asylum, or here for Burning Shrine. Kind of just replace the spot that you can click. So if you miss it for Asylum, go back and click the Asylum one. So because I've already done those two maps, I will not cover them in this video, but what I will cover is Anomaly. Because of the map size and the shape for this map provided to us by Chase Observer, shout out to him, is actually a void above me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with the hilarious combination of acute and creepy sloth. To quickly cover all three maps for what you want to run out with a loadout for this week, running shotguns and snipers are both great options for all three maps this week. Now regarding Anomaly, from my experience, A spawn or Alpha has a very significant advantage on this map. The reason being is I feel like Alpha spawn can dictate the pace of this map a lot better than Bravo spawn. For those of you who don't know, Bravo spawn is at C cap, while Alpha spawn is obviously at Alpha cap. Unfortunately, this map doesn't have the special boxes locations on the map. So the locations of special ammo on this map is right here at Catwalk, in front of this rock at Ridge, and the neutral special box on this map is under B hall. It's the bottom floor. You can access it through cave or by dropping under B and going down a hallway like doorway right here as always it's really good no call outs for this map when i was running trials on it for friday with viewers i actually didn't really know many of the call outs for this map i was calling perch catwalk and it's confusing because some people i was running with thought i was talking about this catwalk and then we were referring to both elbow and cave both as cave and we kind of referred to this entire general area as just outside so the callouts i had were fairly ambiguous i was trying to figure out better callouts this map actually is very good for a lot of useful generalized callouts and i will now be using perch as perch catwalk as catwalk elbow as ad elbow and keeping cave just as this one over here on this map while special wasn't listed heavy is a heavy is right here and c heavy is right over here the reason why i said alpha can actually dictate the tempo of this map is because you can easily camp within these caves over here not the cave call out but the cave location of a spawn the reason why is because caves have one entrance towards a spawn the side room has one entrance through ridge here a spawn and then you can only enter the third location being a stage through a big doorway you can generally have one person watching each of the three locations with a hard scope sniper especially since there's a head glitch right here behind this rock for ridge and there's a long hallway for you to get in from this location people can shoot your feet as you're coming down the stairs from a stage and the cave is a very tight hallway that you come out of and there's no cover to hide behind while you're coming around that corner so you're very vulnerable and very exposed while approaching anybody camping inside the a location so unless the alpha spawn people or bravo spawn who pushes to alpha spawn really miss the position to get caught out you're basically forced to camp for the objective which is at b cap the only other option is to push in with a roaming super real quick or get a really quick pick with the sniper rifle. As always, I think it's a really awesome idea to have at least one sniper and really one shotgun on your team for every single map. I never really found it'd be very good to have all snipers on your team, but going all shotguns on your team is not a bad option for this week's three maps. The only problem you'll probably run into if you're running all shotgunners on your team is especially on Anomaly more so than Asylum and Burning Shrine. You can definitely get away with it for Asylum and Burning Shrine, but for Anomaly, people would just sit around at ACAP and just hard scope all lanes and there's no way Way you can quickly push in with shotguns on this map at least regarding people camping at a spawn pushing your shotguns anywhere else will be pretty useful you can make it happen otherwise it's a little difficult to camp at slide room but there's five entrances one from elbow one from ridge two from perch and one from below under the slide room so it's not as difficult to push people in slide room camping as it is to push people who are camping at a caves honestly what i suggest is if people are camping at a cap or even slide room, I would just chill out the objective, probably hang out around perch or A stage, C stage, B hall, stuff like that. Not to literally camp on B because you're exposed when you're actually standing at the B platform, but spread out, be sure to be ready and kill them if they push out from their camping locations. And just know you have control over objective, so eventually they have to push towards you, which generally gives you an advantage. Because if you position correctly, you have an advantage over people coming out of doorways or whatever. You're ready for them. Your reaction times will be faster because you're ready for where they're coming out of. Whereas they have to kind of figure out exactly where you're located. So just be confident, look at your radar, know where they have to come out of and push the tempo towards you. And you should have the advantage. Bravo Spawn doesn't really have any good locations where I think 
that he can camp very effectively. So I love spawning at Alpha because I know that my team is not going to camp and I can know that the other team, if they try camping, won't be very successful. If they go out to boxes, there's a huge wide open area at C as well as C stage and elbow that you can push from. Yes, that's still three locations, but while this location at Alpha has Ridge and A stage that are also really tight locations that it's very obvious you're coming from those locations, they have K, which is the third tight location, whereas Broxus has this huge wide open C area as well as catwalk they can push through. If they camp at cave steps, which I've seen pretty often, there's a huge wide open area around generator and from sea heavy that people can push over. There's no like bottleneck choke point that you can watch from cave steps. So Bravo spawn is forced to not camp on this map, while Alpha spawn has an option to camp if they want to. For snipers on this map, a lot of people like to go straight to perch from Alpha spawn and snipe over to the B ramp area. Obviously the sniper locations from B hall over to the other B hall. Side note, I kind of hate that both these are listed as B hall, I would like to say A Hall or C Hall instead. A lot of people also like to snipe from elbow area over to catwalk and vice versa. People snipe out from boxes trying to look at C stage. And a lot of people also like to sit around the generator areas on the left or right side or even the back generator and snipe up the ramp towards B area. Those are all the common sniping locations that I've found when I play trials on this map. So whenever you play trials, be sure to be on the lookout for those locations that people snipe. All of them are fairly easily avoidable. There's actually a lot of obstacles that you're able to hide behind on this map. And there's also a lot of really tight corners you can maneuver around. Speaking of tight corners, there's a lot of times I trade with a shock on this map because there's so many really tight areas to maneuver with that basically everybody's going to come around the corner, see another person coming around the corner, and they're going to shoot each other at the exact same time with a shotgun, and you both die. It's actually fairly difficult for me to maneuver to the point where I have advantages on this map because of the tight corners. I can get away from people pretty easily, but whenever I go into shotgun people, I almost always trade. I usually run a Midas shotgun stormcaller build, which is basically what I consider to be top of the line for meta and trials carries and trials Osiris in general. And I've explained it before in previous videos because the Midas multi-tool gives you a lot of movement speed, which allows you to dance across the map really fast and helps you get in positions that people don't expect you to be in. But because of how Anomaly is set up, I actually think I might be switching to an Eyes Luna or something of that sort. Movement speed doesn't seem to be that optimal for me on this map because the map is so small, people seem to always know where you are on radar, so it doesn't really matter for flanks or anything of that sort. And there's so many corners for you to hide behind this map, and people can maneuver so easily on this map, that the Mind of Multi-Tool tends to have to have a too long of a kill time. There's a lot of times people get away almost dead on this map. Because of that, I'll probably switch over to Eyes Luna for this map, but still run my multi tool for Asylum and Burning Shrine for this week's rotation. Or maybe I'll stick to my multi tool. At least I'll give it a shot today for today's trials carries. General strategies I have for this map honestly kind of vary based on where the location is of the enemy team. I still haven't figured out the most optimal strategies for this map other than just controlling the objective and not challenging people camping unless you have a sniper for a quick pick or a roaming super. So instead what I'm going to do is share with you ideas of what not to do. Definitely don't push cave if the enemy team is anywhere around cave area on your radar because it's very easy to get caught out, get grenaded out, and overall you're just not going to have a good time. Sitting around randomly out in the open, not moving around very rapidly, is pretty much a bad idea. You're very exposed out in the open, out in cave steps, sea heavy, generator area, over at boxes even. It's very easy for the other team to position on you very well, and be able to get a lot of angles to shoot at you when you're just kind of standing out there. One thing I noticed on this map is a lot of low hanging ceiling, especially around the middle portion of this map. So it's very easy to get stuck inside of really small hallways or low hanging ceilings or whatever. So be very aware of your surroundings. A tricky maneuvering location is inside the ring area, especially if you jump downwards. But if you're not very good at keeping track of the motion of the swing arms, then you'll probably get stuck very easily. However, they do provide you very important and awesome cover from enemies who are trying to chase you. One awesome thing I like to do is if the swing arm is moving in the direction that I'm moving in as well, I'll jump onto the swing arm and then jump off of it because it gives you a huge boost of movement speed. But that also means if you're jumping on it in the opposite direction of wherever you want to go, then it actually slow you down a lot. Typically, I haven't really found that to be a big issue that it slows me down a lot because I can, can just jump off of it immediately. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much, but definitely look for those opportunities we can immediately launch forward by jumping on it when it's moving in your direction. I definitely do not suggest pushing through the ridge area or even the elbow area if the enemy is waiting for you there because there's no obstacles for you to hide behind and it's a very long, very exposed hallway to run down. Somebody was hiding around the ridge area behind rocks I already beat him a few rounds. I knew he wasn't a good shot. So I tried maybe just pushing through the hallway. Even though he was a bad shot, he still killed me before I could make it to him. 
because there's just so much distance to cover and no obstacles to hide behind. Typically, I would not challenge down the hallways for A or C hall. If you see somebody on their radar being kind of around this doorway at Catwalk or around these stairs for the A hall, because typically they'll be just coming around the corner and snipe you down as you're about to challenge it, or at the very least, they'll throw a lot of grenades waiting for you. For heavy rounds, I actually have a really difficult time pushing from Bravo spawn over to A spawn, largely because of what I explained earlier that it's very easy to camp from A spawn. No matter which angle I push from, people are almost always there waiting for me. So unless I have a roaming super available on heavy round, it's actually a better idea to just sit back and wait and play on heavy. And by play on heavy, I mean grab heavy and then just use it. Throughout the entire night of trials for Friday, I tried pushing for bottle spawn every single time and I was successful probably one third of the attempts. Therefore, it's honestly just not worth it. However, from alpha spawn, I pushed every time and I was successful almost every single freaking time pushing on the Bravo Heavy. When I did so, my team would typically push out through them caves while I push immediately over to boxes, usually using the swing arms to launch me over there faster. And I'll throw a grenade over to C Heavy and I'll either use Catwalk or the C area outside, far wall, and get an angle on them, try to just shoot them down. And if they're just camping, hugging the wall that's kind of like a barrier for a C Heavy right here, then I'll jump up Catwalk and jump over to them and just like shotgun and amplitude storm collar melee from a long range. Doing that with a storm grenade worked almost every single time, especially with my team pushing from cave over to generators. The few times that it didn't work for me doing that, honestly it was still okay because then I was distracting them and my team would usually clean them up. It was actually maybe one or two times total the entire day of 10 plus hours of trials runs that that plan didn't work. So if you're Bravo spawn, try to play heavy and spread out so the people from Alpha spawn don't do that to you. Don't just sit at your heavy ammo. In fact, I would advise you never just sitting at your heavy ammo ever. Always scout out, be ready for angles, look at radar, let your team know if they're pushing on you from a direction. Sitting at your heavy just lets other teams nade spam you and set up to push on you very easily. And if you're Alpha spawn, I advise you go ahead and push the people out Bravo spawn. Don't let them get that heavy round. Unless you're down like 3-0 on rounds and you don't have the confidence that you can win it, maybe then you can go for Alpha and try to clutch out that heavy round with rockets and get the momentum back in your favor. But even then, honestly, Alpha spawn push on heavy it seems so favorable for me. That I pretty much just do it every time anyway. The only problem with this week being rotating maps on Anomaly, I didn't have a lot of games to be able to grind out best optimal routes and stuff like that like I usually do. I played Anomaly once for Trials in the past, but I didn't play it that much in the past and I wasn't that much of a carry guy back then. I was still fairly new to the Trials carry scene as far as grinding out Trials. I was still kind of just casually playing it, especially with now being a new meta too. I could only play it for one third of the day. So I put it in maybe like three hours total on the map. And because of that being only three hours compared to the usual 10 plus hours of just that one map grinding out, I couldn't find out very optimal routes to take like all the time for you on this map. However, I should have those optimal routes figured out by the time the Saturday night stream is done. So if you want to swing by the live stream, twitch.tv slash Chilandis, I'll definitely be happy to show you those optimal routes through my gameplay. You can also hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash TV, or have some questions you might have regarding this map on Charles Osiris post it in the comments below this video. I'll be sure to respond to you regardless of whichever three locations you hit me up on. Hopefully this video helped you in some way for the Trials of Cyrus runs on Anomaly. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel. That'd be freaking sick. As a quick reminder, Trials of Cyrus is actually going to be canceled for the next three weeks. Therefore, I will not have a map rundown video available for you for the next three weeks. In the fourth week following, I will be at TwitchCon, so I can't provide a map rundown that week either. So it kind of sucks. Four weeks of not having a map rundown. I know these are actually really fun videos for me to do. But five weeks from now, the second week of the Rise of Iron, Trials of Cyrus week, I will be there providing map rundowns once again for you with the new meta, new weapons, etc. I cannot wait, but definitely hit me up on Twitter and on my twitch.tv channel slash chatlantis. I'll be more than happy to hang out with you, share some PvP tips with you if I can. Any questions regarding PvP, you can definitely hit me up. I'll be always happy to help you out. Thank you so much for being you, and thank you as always for watching.